how to connect Canva website to an existing domain. Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how you can take a Canva website and connect that to a already existing domain like the one that I have purchased over here. So let's get started. Now for our Canva website, we are going to go on ahead and create a website on Canva. This can be done really easily and it does not require a lot of effort. And that is why a lot of people are using Canva to build their websites, especially if you're looking to build a landing page, then landing page websites are already usually primarily only going to be a one page website. So what this does is that Canva lets you create a one page website and you can easily convert that into a landing page. So we're going to click on website over here and we're just going to take a blank template and I'll just go into templates over here and I will take this template from the left panel, which is this one over here. I'll apply all seven pages and then I'll just change up the name on the pages, which is going to be ruffled by your style like this. Now, once I have done that, it's time for me to proceed with actually connecting this to my domain. Now to do this, firstly, you're going to need a domain. This can be from any domain name broker like GoDaddy, Namecheap, or any other third party platform that is used for purchasing and selling domains. Once you have a domain, go into your Canva website and then click on publish website. Now on the top right, when you click on publish website, it will actually show you the options for publishing your site. So firstly, you will have a website URL with their standard domain. So Canva does actually provide you with a customizable subdomain. So it would just be something along the lines of canvasite.com slash, you know, ruffled or anything along those lines. So we're going to be actually customizing this to make it our own a little. I'm just going to be decreasing the number of pages and we're going to click on publish site so we can proceed with our domain name connection. Now this can take a little while because it's syncing up all of your website pages as they are. And you can even click on share on the top right and even download your website pages as they are as a PDF or PNG to see what your website is visually going to look like. So let's wait for this to be completed. So now that this has completed its load up, we will see on the right, we have the option to resize on mobile devices, which I'm going to leave checked because I do want it to be resized. Then below that, we have our website URL. So over here on the right, we are going to click on this pen icon and you are going to click on get a new domain. Once you click on get a new domain, you will see three options, free domain, purchase a new domain if you don't have one already, but you also have the option of use my existing domain. Select this option and then click on continue. Once you click on continue, you are going to proceed and add them like so. So my domain is ruffled.site, which I have purchased and I will click on continue over here. And once I click on continue, you will see that this has automatically detected my DNS. So I can simply click on connect domain over here. Once you click on connect domain, usually if you're buying from a popular name provider, domain name provider, it will just open up this domain connect where it says GoDaddy plus Canva or Namecheap plus Canva. And then you're just going to click on connect over here and then click on close. And now your new domain has been linked. So now I can click on publish. And once I click on publish, our design is going to be saved. And in a couple of seconds, I will be able to see my new website. So if I click on view preview, this is the preview site, but you will see that my domain is currently being verified by my domain name provider. Now, another really important thing to note is that if you have a domain that is that cannot be detected, you can always configure it manually. So you can add a sub pack to this, but I will go on ahead and click on get my new domain, click on use my existing domain, and then we are going to be 
add another domain. We're going to add ruffle.site. Click on continue. And then from here, to connect your domain manually, you can add your TXT record and add. You're just going to copy your TXT name, host, or alias, and value points. Then go into your domain name provider and open up the DNS settings of your domain name. Now, this is linked already to a website, but when a domain is not linked, you will see all of the connections and you can just click on add a new record and you're going to paste in the name from Canva, then copy the value points and add them in the section where it says value. Then after that, you have the type and you will also see this when you have the option for the values. So we are going to just click on save over here and we're going to choose AAA. Click on save and then you will see your total record data because this is already connected. It's not going to reconnect, but then it will provide you a record where you're going to copy and paste that over here. I'm just going to click on save over here and then the next values would be put in Canva and then after that we can proceed. So then you can click on connect over here to proceed with your info and your domain connection will be completed to your pre-existing domain on Canva. Now, if you don't have a domain already, you still have the option to actually purchase one. So you can click on over here and I'll unpublish my site so I can show you guys how to do that. But you're going to go into your publishing settings and first we're going to unpublish the site so we can actually purchase a new domain. Click unpublish website and you will see your website URL. Click on get new domain. Once you click on get new domain, you can select the second option to purchase a new domain. Click on continue over here and once you click on continue, you can search for different domains that are available. I'll search for ruffles and it's going to show me some suggested domains. One thing I would recommend is to look around for domains on particularly GoDaddy or Namecheap because those have a lot of domains that are really, really cheap for at least the first year. And after that, their payments are not that high. However, on Canva, you guys will see that the options that I have are a bit limited. So with Canva, I do find that sometimes it can be a bit limited. You guys can see a ruffle.info is available, but I don't want ruffle.info. I can choose the dot domain that I want as well. So if I want .com, I'll add ruffled.com. It's not available, so it's suggesting other alternatives. But I would suggest to primarily search on domain name providers. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.